Hi guys, it's Taff. Welcome back to our Tuscany farm in Agricultural Simulator 2013. Last time out we uh, we did some uh, baling and we collected all the straw bales and put them in the barn. This time out we are going to get that gravity fed trailer uh, so we can move our grain into into bags. Uh, historical and... okay let's cycle for the tractors. No, 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 no. No, no, Ye no, that's much better, no, no, yay, so this is the little baby, you put the grain in there, or the seed in there, and then you can pop out um, sacks of it, it, here, load it into sacks, so, that is um, 4,600, so let's purchase that, and there she is, so let's get our little, um, Massive Ferguson going, Okay, let's connect her up to there. Plunk click, excellent. Right, let's go over to the silo. There's our little doggy, whose name I forget. Oh, but you can hear him anywhere. Okay, here we go. So what we do, we stick this under the... Uh, under that. Under the silo dispenser. Then we click on there. We've got wheat and... Fill her up, please. Oh, look, it's got 2005. Can we... Okay, so she's full. Okay. So that's full apparently with, uh, yep, it's got a thousand grain in it. So what we do, very simple this, so that's why I like it so much. Spin round here. It looks like it could take more to be honest, but um, that, that's his capacity, so uh, we'll go with it. And basically well, what, what I want to do is um, store some grain Back in the in the cellar, so we can a use it as seed next time out. Um, so all we do is hit open wheel, and that should start filling up sacks. There you go. You can't pick it up until the second one comes, and obviously that means the first one's full. So just have to throw them in there and start stacking them there. So lovely. Now, if you recall, it was uh, 750 wheat seed to seed our field, and we had missed big chunks of it. So, um, as I say, this trailer's capacity for one load will be a thousand. So, um, we'll stack a thousand in there so we can use that on the field to seed it properly next time. And what I might do, I might store 2,000 grain in the bags and then sell the rest down at the, the trade center and bring in some money. Now, I know, I think, well, I, I don't know, I think you can uh, refill the cedar by the, uh, by the silo spout over there. But what I'm thinking is, if we put them in bags, then we don't have to keep taking the uh, the cedar back over to the other side of the farm. We can just um, put the bags or the sacks in a trailer and take them to wherever we want to go seed. And so that's especially important if we if we get a farm, sorry, a field further away from the farm. We don't want to be having to drive back here to top her up in the silo every time. So that's my thinking. Whether or not that's that's 
as efficient as I think it is, I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, oh, where's this boat? There it is. Uh, oh, God, hang on. Whoa, camera angle's been all weird. Yeah, that's about right. So let's just do one more full, uh, one more full load. Okay, was it? Yep, yeah, that's a thousand. So that leaves us with thirteen thousand five, uh, thirteen thousand six hundred wheat seed, seven hundred fifty corn, seven hundred fifty sunflower, seven hundred fifty um, rapeseed oil or canola. So with that, with those seven hundred fifty, you know, we could seed a field. You know, potentially just a little bit smaller than the one we've currently got. So when we look to expand. We may well. I don't know why the uh, pig side doors are open. Um, when we expand, we may well um, get get a field uh, on the go somewhere else. Buy another plot of land, get another field on the go, and maybe uh, get some corn. I think corn's the next biggie for us. So obviously our animals eat it. Uh, and do we have any corn in this shed actually? We've got a little bit of corn in the shed, so what that, 50, 100, 200, 200, uh, 350. So, yeah, we could potentially see, see that field of corn this time and get a, a cutter for the combine. Um, whether or not we need, we'll need a different seeder. Oh, is this not working? Go. Oh, there we go. Mustn't, I mustn't have pressed it properly. She's working now, so. There we go. So jobs on the board for us. Um, loads of maintenance stuff really. Uh, I can't currently. I tried to. Um, this is, I tried to record a, a video yesterday uh, where we're going to replay the fields. Now. Uh, I was having a few issues with that, as the stubble in the stubble field and you know the the, the crop we couldn't harvest. Um, either we missed it or that patch which was just bugged and wouldn't harvest. Um, it it won't disappear when you plough it. I've tried the cultivator on it as well, and and, and that didn't work either. So uh, I've been on the forums saying, oh, "Help! I can't plough my field," uh, and they have come back and said, "Look, you may need to leave it a couple of days." Um, after harvest before you can uh, plough it to clear it again so that's fine uh, we'll leave the field just to uh, just to nature for a time being but we've got plenty of other tasks we need to be getting on with as well so we can um, sort out the seeds sell what we don't want and bag up what we do We've got um, grass cutting to do um, for not only our silage but also for our animal feed. Now we've got the baler, we can also um, produce some grass bales uh, and stick them in the barn. And on top of that, we've got um, we can buy a tedder and a liner, and we can go do some hay somewhere. Although land is getting a little bit tight now. Uh, but no, it's good. We've still got the milk and eggs to uh, run back and forth from market, and we still have the greenhouse to go and look at. But so there we go. That should be two thousand worth of wheat, and doesn't that look fantastic? Really pleased with that. So let's just park this out of the way. Let's park this under cover because we don't want our wheat trailer or our seed trailer getting damp or anything. So we'll stick this in the barn. Okay, so there we have it. There's um, job one done. Okay, let's have a quick check on the on the greenhouse. 
as you can see it's looking great in here so I can't remember what these were but the water levels right and the quality is coming up progress is about half uh, that's far too overwatered so let's um oh we have dropped the dental one okay so they're whatever they are not looking terribly good these ones again overwatered the quality's poor oh they're smack on and that that's fantastic almost all the way there okay good quality there good quality there uh, okay and that's not too bad as well that's uh, so what I think going forward in future when we get a bit more cash we'll, um, we'll look to have a number of greenhouses one for each crop so we'll have one for tomatoes one for onions and one for um, potatoes and that so we don't we you know the the watering levels don't vary within the uh, within the the greenhouse in ugh, sorry within the greenhouses so it should make for overall belt better quality of uh, of crops so so there we are there's the current status of our our farm it's going okay um, what I'll do off screen I'll continue to go back and forth on the milk and eggs uh, uh, <laughs> eggs no I'll continue to go back and forth from the market for the milk and eggs to sell them and I will look I'll maybe try and cut this grass here uh, and either collect it in the silo or I will look to uh, bag it up for for grass bales it's got a little patch here um, yeah let's do that I'll record it for now then re I'll, I'll decide whether or not to cut it from the edit later we'll see how it goes you know cutting grass isn't the most exciting thing in the world Plunk click and we put the PTO in the PTO. Yeah, I think that's worked. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Um, let's just start from here. Where we, where we left, let's just start up from there. Seems like a good plan. So down, oh no, front hydraulics down, on, go forth, there you go, and we are uh, cutting the grass, fantastic. This is going splendidly. Yeah, so as we say, um, as per the former forum's advice, we're going to have to leave the uh, the field a few days before we start to 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 uh, rework it with the plough and um, oh, we're coming up to the end of our uh, property. So let's uh, stop cutting. Um, so it's going to take a few days to do that. Whilst we wait. As I said, we've got plenty of tasks to do. I may well off-screen bag up the uh, the corn seed we have in the silo as well. But um, yeah, you've seen how that works, so I'm, I'm sure you don't want to see me do that on screen. What's the date? It's currently the 23rd of December, so we've gone we've gone 22 days now. Um, we've had from a livestock point of view, we've had two pig births which is great um, but we've had no cows or horses but I think I can't remember what day we actually put the horses and the, and, and the cows together knowing what we were going to be doing so there may not be you know that long it may only be 15 or so days because obviously we know the uh, the breeding pattern of the, the larger animals takes a wee while longer so we'll just have to be patient now, I guess. Ah, oh, this is making some beautiful rows. Beautiful. 
Um, I'm going to get the grass baler on these, or not the grass baler, but the baler on these. Uh, and so we've got plenty of grass bales for the animals. Because all animals use the grass bales. Cows, pigs, horses and sheep, whereas the hay is only really eaten by the uh, the cows and the horses, because the pigs at this stage don't really, they're not really interested in that. You know, you just stick a bale in there and it's just left and ignored. So and that's fine. Um, you know, and the sheep don't need it because they're just in the in the paddock. So uh, they are fine as they are, relatively maintenance free, which is great. can't decide whether or not, when we redo the field, whether or not to, with that 750 corn we've got, and the, you know, the, I think it's about 350 was it, in the, in the actual cellar, should we do a corn harvest, or should we do another wheat harvest for the money, uh, I, can't, I know we'll have to buy another um, header for the tractor, whoa, bloody tree in the way. But I'm thinking, how useful would that? Oh, that's the, sorry, it's the rear hydraulics. How useful would that be to have uh, more corn? Uh, I'm thinking, hmm. how much money have we got? We've got 181,000 euros. Well, I'm thinking. Money doesn't seem to be too much of an issue as long as we don't go crazy. Uh, we'll have a look at the uh, the corn headers and see if they'll they're compatible with our with our gecko combine. And if they are, we'll have a look at doing the corn because if we can, you know. If we can get, I don't know, what was it, about 15? I've got it written down somewhere on my notes. About 14,000, there you go, 14,851 wheat we sowed off that, or we harvested off that field. So if we can get that in corn, we'll be well away uh, for animal feed and, and for selling back. Yeah, so that, that, that could well be the next move, to be honest. Also, I'm not sure if the... Um, how long it takes before the, the the seed and the wheats and the wheats the seed and the uh, of all the various crops um, spoil in the uh, in the silos? Is there a limit? I don't know. If if you know, drop us a drop us a comment um, because that'd be interesting to know. Because uh, most of the games have a you know a, a best before date on the uh, silo storage, so I shouldn't think this one's any different. It looks really pretty with all the, the grass rows, doesn't it? Okay, that that the incline's getting very steep here now, so I'm going to stop there because although the tractor can do it, I think we'd all have all sorts of problems with the baler getting the baler up there. So I'm not even going to not even going to try to be honest with you. So let's start from here and go down again. Oops, completely missed that. Not to worry. Okay, so as we're doing this, um, just thinking what's going on in the world. Uh, Britain has been cla uh, classified as a danger zone because of the uh, the heat wave we're currently experiencing. Uh, I'm sure the rest of Europe are going, oh god, really? How embarrassing. And yes it is. Yep. We've been warned that, you know, people are dying because it's 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 sunny here with a light breeze and you know, oh people are dying. It's just because we're not used to it and you know, the the old folks are still walking around with jumpers and coats on. It's like geez. 
It's 30 degrees for heaven's sake. And uh, obviously they're the ones who are... Them and the young children are the vulnerable and uh, yeah. But it's nice, we're actually just having a, a proper summer for once, you know. I think it's, this is the best summer we've had since 1996, so that's... You know, so, so for you guys with uh, warm climates, count yourself lucky. We're in a state of permanent permafuse here, and then every once every uh, seven years or so, we get um, defrosted with a with a proper summer. So ah, oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. And I've been out on the uh, on the on the bicycle um, on the mountain bike in the evenings, just um, cycling around the country lanes, and uh, yeah, all the. Uh, the farmers have cleared the um, cleared around the uh, the verges of the fields. Um, it's obviously um, ready ready for harvest uh, for the wheat and the oats and the uh, the barley around here. Uh, it, the barley's nice and golden at the moment. Most of the wheat is still a little bit green and needs a few more, maybe another week or two. Uh, the oats are, I've noticed were were looking ready to go they were nice and golden and dry so um, yeah I'll expect a load of uh, agricultural traffic on the road soon with combines and uh, tractor and trailer ferrying uh, grain back and forth so that should be um, keep everyone entertained oh excuse me Okay, I think that'll probably do us for the uh, for the grass cutting. Oh yeah, we'll get out. Keep trying to press a button to disconnect, but I can't do that on this one. Clunk clunk. Okay. Now let let us see if uh, how this goes. Cause well, let's just straighten the tractor up a little bit better than that. Actually, let's that's me just trying to uh, do this a little bit better, neatly, failing miserably. Okay, let's just connect this up now. Let's just have a look. oh god, what am I doing? Let's just have a look. Okay, there's no bales in the in the chute. I'm interesting if there's any any. Yeah, there's 44 straw. In the. Uh... Okay, there's 44 straw in the in the actual innards of the baler. So I'm not sure whether or not. Let's put the little door shoot thing down. I'm not sure whether or not that will allow us to go straight to grass. It should do. We just should have a mixed bale maybe. But uh Okay. Let's set this up. Uh, I could have probably switched it on. Right, move rake down. Oh, I can empty it. Let's empty it. There we go. Oh, okay, we just dumped the straw. Did it just dump it on the ground or? No, I just got rid of it. But no, that's a handy little feature, isn't it? So the rake's down. Let's activate it. Oh, we have to be in the tractor to activate it by the looks of it. Let's activate. Yep, there it goes. And let's get collecting this uh, this grass. Okay, that's lovely. That's working lovely. Oh god, I think maybe the Massey Ferguson would be the best tractor for this because this one feels a little bit cumbersome with this tiny little baler on the end. Okay, there's first bailout. It's 
Second bales just popped out. Um, yep. Oop. Oh god, look, I'm missing everything here. Spitting these bales out. Fantastic. I think we've already got about four or five, haven't we? Four, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we we probably do need the little tractor for this, to be honest. <laughs> this is a bit overkill. So I'm half leaving. I'm half tempted just to leave the, the fields like that. They look so pretty. that bell come from? Shot out from some direction. Right, let's um yeah I thought this would be a bit of a struggle. Let's just go around this these two little trees and line up on the way down. Let's slow down a bit. Whoa 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 sliding down the hill. Wow, look at all those bells were kicking out. Seems to be squirting out the side every so often, which is a bit random, but uh, let's just keep an eye on that and see what's. Where, where are they coming from? It's really weird. Or the ones we're just running over, but they can't be because we haven't been there before. But I don't know. No, oh, look, they're getting. No, oh, I don't know what's going on. No, I'll just put it. I just won't look and, and just let it all happen. I won't worry about it because that's often the best way. We're going to miss that bit, okay. Too tight a turn, we couldn't get that last bit at the end. We'll come back for that though. No, I think this, this little um, baler was well worth the investment. I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, going too fast. No, we're okay. We've got this, we've got this. Do you know what, looking at it, I don't think we're going to need to... <laughs> it's another jumping bail. We're going to need to uh, to bail all of this, because uh, I think there's, we've got plenty already, to be honest. Uh, I may well get the, uh, the forage wagon on the rest. I'm just going to tidy these bits up. Bearing in mind how quickly the grass grows as well, you know, in a few more days we can uh, we can recut all this. Might just do one of the big stripes and leave, call it a day there with a the baler. Because the other thing thing is, of course, we've got to collect the damn bales, and that's another that can be a frustration. I can't see the, the trees and I just end up driving into them. 
Okay, so let's um, deactivate, move the rake up. And uh, free wheel down the hill. We Okay. Whoa, got, got some speed up down there. Now let us just uh, swing it around here. So what I'm just going to do is pull the remaining bales out. And bung them there. And that should, yeah, stack them. Just pull the bales out. Come on, you. Okay. Let's close up the the door. Okay, and move them out of the way. Can we make that? Yes, of course we can. Ooh. Okay, let's leave that there for now. We'll tidy that up later. Uh, get the Massey. Uh, the bale trail is parked around the uh, the other side of the the barn here. There she be. Oh, hang on, as we're here, look. So our seeder can seed corn. You can seed all four crops. So that's great news. That's one less hurdle. So I'm thinking, yeah, we will seed corn next. Oh, although by the time that grows, we will need animal feed, won't we? Why aren't you? Is that one you need to connect to? Okay. So, would a half and half field work? Do you reckon? Half, half wheat, half corn. Is that worth a go? Or was that just too complicated? Hmm. Decisions. 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 I'll have to have a think about that, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think we could do that, couldn't we? I mean, it's it's not beyond the realms of possibility. Right, here I go, stacking bloody bales again. You got whatever you got to do. You, when you pick them up, you got to stop. Wait for them to stop spinning, otherwise you're all in all sorts of uh, in all sorts of bother. Get on. Eupla. Hey, Uh, where are they all gone? Oh, there's one. Oh, do you know what? These are these are probably just worth picking up and taking straight to the uh, to the barn. Hooray! Excellent. Yes, yeah, so these three over here will just dump straight at the uh, the barn door. Oops. So I'll continue to collect all these bales up, and for the remaining grass, I will, 
I'll use the uh, the forager, and then we'll um, start to. I'll just make sure everything's topped up, like the grass bin, the animal troughs, uh, and then I shall stick everything else into the silo. Okay, welcome back, guys. As you see, I've parked everything in the the barn. Um, I've picked up the grass bales from the uh, from the field. Uh, let's just go in the barn and see how that's looking in our storage. So there's our straw. Straw's looking good. Yeah, plenty of grass bales now. Look at that. Yeah. And uh, we need some hay. Now, is it? What do you reckon? Should we? I'm just wondering, should we, should we um, turn this and use it as hay? Oh, why not? Yeah, we'll do that next episode. We'll uh, we'll harvest or we'll um, spin it and uh, get some hay. Let's um, while we're here, let's do a quick check on the bits and pieces we've been talking about. So, first off would be a corn cutter, and that's only fifty-two thousand. So we could get one of those. So that's fine. So that's a possibility. Uh, we are looking at. Uh, not cedar, not sprayer, not what's a stirrer? Oh, we haven't got a stirrer. A liner. Okay, so that's what we need to um, to make the grass go into hay, or you know the grass will naturally dry into hay, but we need it to uh, to turn it, and then I guess the next one is a proper liner. So that'll stick it into a nice row for us. So that's 15 grand and that's 14 grand. So yes, we'll definitely get those and we'll start some uh, we'll start some hay production next episode. So um, yeah, so it's been a bit of a bit of a maintenance episode, just keeping things going. But I guess that's the name of the game at the moment. Um, it's been a bit all over the place, I know. Uh, no real target for the uh, for the episode, but there we go. Next time out, we'll look to. Uh, produce some hay for the uh, for the livestock because it as I say it looks reasonably inexpensive and we'll also um, explore a bit further what we want to do with the the field whether or not we're going to put some corn in there as well and get that small corn header as well and we should be away then because the cedar is is compatible so yeah that will also help our our livestock feed worries so yeah no I think I think that's the way forward I'm not sure exactly how we're gonna do it yet but we'll we'll come to that next time so I hope you've enjoyed the episode um, uh, if you have then please feel free to leave a comment and like the video it's always appreciated and uh, you know your support is always uh, greatly received so um, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time